Hello everyone and welcome to the Captain's Video Blog. We are Friday, December the 16th, 2016 and uh, yeah, it's just a mess. Um, <laughs> I, I, I have to stop touching my hair. Um, so yeah, boy, the, the internship, huh? Uh, still no answer for, for the applications that I've sent out. Still no, no offer that really, you know, entices me. So I guess that uh, for now I'm pretty much fucked. Um, I mean, for this week because you know we don't receive offers or or answers in the weekends. That just doesn't happen. So yeah, um, I actually considered, uh, you know, uh, during the week I actually considered going to Bordeaux. Well, on this morning in a, like a couple hours, I guess. Uh, at least take the train a couple hours to go uh, and uh, take the exam of the TOEFL you know the test of English as a foreign language mandatory if you want to work in an English speaking country then again um, are there any guarantees that I'm going to work in an English con speaking country in the next two years and is there any any um, in any indication that I might do my internship in an English speaking country? Well, to these two questions, the answer is a big old no. <laughs> so, yeah, just a little bit frustrating. Um, you know what's frustrating too? 12 hours of upload for a video. So, yeah, 20 minutes. Fuck, uh, that's that's that might be, you know, the the thing on on Sunday night or on Monday night. It really depends because uh, this Sunday, so yeah, in like 24 hours, if you th if you realize the fact that it's 5 a.m., I might have to go with my family to Andorra. I mean, I guess it's Christmas shopping, so kind of excuses the fact that they already went there two weeks ago. Um, but the fact of the matter is, I don't like going there because I feel like it's a huge waste of time because all I end up doing is. Uh, just being, you know, uh, the cushion for, for going through the toll, um, you know, and uh, with more alcohol and cigarettes, uh, two things that I do not consume. So yeah, um, and the worst thing about this is that they really want to go there early, but I check the weather, and early means that we arrive when the temperatures are not only under zero degree uh, Celsius. But might as well be in the in the lower uh, minus. You know, it might be around minus seven, minus minus L degrees, eight degrees, and I'm like, no, <laughs> it, I don't care that it's Christmas shopping and it might as well be snowing, and it's all cool and all. It's not a weather that I want to face on a Sunday morning. And then there's, you know, there's Marseille versus Lille. So yeah, do I, will I have time and even the slightest bit of energy left in my body to watch, for example, in up anime to free space or just to, to <laughs> stay awake until roadblock starts? I don't know. And then if I, if I manage to stay awake until roadblock and through roadblock and I have enough space on my phone there's, there's it means that I have to take 20 minutes to talk about roadblock and it's 20 minutes that I won't get back because <laughs> after that I have to wake up around 9 a.m. because I have to give a, a math class uh, from 10 a.m. to noon and you know that's not that the, actually that last part is the part I want to co you know I would um, complain about the least because it's actually kind of fun. I mean I guess I am good to <laughs> when I turn when I have to teach people who aren't my sisters. Then again, you know, uh, teaching your sisters, your people of your family, it's pretty much uh, it's it's not good. Like it's the main reason why you don't let psychologists do uh, a psychoanalysis on the people they know because they will push the the vision uh, they have of them onto them and you know it will kind of warp their analysis well you know it's it, you put you know your expectations onto the people you are teaching and you're like well i mean you're just a big old failure um <laughs> and 
no, the friends, it's, it's something different because you don't really know them that well. Uh, so, yeah. Huh. <sighs> Just a bit complicated. Anyway, um, w I was speaking about Roadblock. Uh, Roadblock w has another match that will be, that has been determined through a match at Tribute to the Troops, you know, that whole big old jingoism party uh, organized by WWE. Uh, it's just, just so American centered that the uh, the highlights that are on YouTube, they are not available from other countries. So I actually had to go on their website to check the results and to see the one result that I actually cared for uh, and I didn't know I there the, the <laughs> it would be there. Cesar and Sheamus are the new number one contenders and I really hope that they win or if they lose that they lose cleanly because I am sick and tired of seeing the New Day retain they t their title through screwy finishes. It's that way that they broke the record. It's even that way that they broke, you know, that they went uh, over 400 days. This shit has been going on since earlier than summer fucking slam. <sighs> And I know that in the future we might not even remember that, because who remembers the shit matches that CM Punk had in the middle of his 434 day tenure as the WWE Champion, making him the longest reigning WWE Champion in like almost three decades. Not a lot of people, just the people who cared. And uh, I care, I remember those matches, I remember the triple threat with the show, I remember uh, th with the big show. I remember, remember the the draw against John Cena. I remember all the shit that there's been, and it pisses me off. It pisses me off that he lost to The Rock, and I love The Rock. <sighs> anyway, um, so I really hope that you know something significant will happen. <laughs> Maybe you know the revi the revival. What about the revival, though? <laughs> Oh man, that's my motto about uh, tag team wrestling in WWE. Uh, speaking of tag team wrestling, total non-stop deletion. So I want to talk a bit, you know, to talk a lot about the first hour. It was match with King Maxwell debuting against Rockstar Spud because Spud was complaining about the, the airtime he wasn't getting because of Maxwell. So Maxwell, you know, uh, accepted the, the challenge and he won thanks to Senior Benjamin tasing Spud in the back. Uh, uh, and Disco Inferno was looking from uh, backstage and was like, huh, I guess I'm gonna go play poker. Um, uh, there was a match with Sienna, it was, uh, you know, uh, originally supposed to face Rosemary, but Rosemary is banned from the compound because she tried to abduct Maxwell, you know, the later decay, the lead or decay, yep. Um, so she faced ODB and uh, she won. Yeah. Uh, then there was each weed with three E's, um, you know, old character from the the early days actually of the uh, of the the Hardys show. Um, he faced uh, Chet Sterling, um, who is a local local competitor, and uh, won uh, first spot of the night, a table spot. Um, and uh, yeah, the, just when he won each weed. Uh, whipped out his weed whacker and went a little bit to town on uh, on Sterling's shirt. Um, and then it was when it started to get weird. It was a match between Edward, Eddie Edwards and, uh, and Lashley for the world title. And it was going fine until Lashley speared Edwards through through uh, a door uh, of the of the dome of deletion and that's you know um, the match is might as well still be going on so if you go to Charlotte North, North Carolina check for example the woods if you don't see if you see two men maybe a bit disheveled fighting tell them that uh, total non-stop deletion is done and that they might as well you know just <laughs> kind of try to make their way back to Orlando to have their finish in an actual ring because uh, it's, it's, who knows what is there is in there in these uh, <laughs> in these woods I mean that's where Willow and Broken Matt Hardy really were born so uh, yeah uh, and so yeah during that match this match was going on um, Matt Hardy launched Tag Team Apocalypto with DK killing people, Skarsgård breaking a pin, Skarsgård, Skarsgård, you know, the boat, uh, <laughs> leading to the Helms Dynasty actually kicking the boat, 
yep, uh, didn't end well for Shane Helms, who went in the lake of reincarnation twice, coming out once as Shane from uh, Three Count, and then when he realized that those weren't Shane and Moore and even Karagias uh, uh, was kicked once again and came out as the Hurricane and uh, took it out on uh, his protégés, buried them, yep, properly buried them um, with uh, that wonderful line from uh, Broken Matt Hardy who said uh, even the men with the three H's uh, would be proud of the way we buried <laughs> this young and promising talent. Yes, Triple H, we know you are watching. Uh, essentially, that was that. So, um, DK, uh, I think it also killed actually uh, the the proteges of, Sh of Shane Helms with Janice, you know, the board with the the nails, but uh, came back to uh, to bite him in the ass after they eliminated, uh, you know, a whole bunch of teams, including. Um, DCC uh, and <laughs> well actually it wasn't really DCC because it was a guy with a mask but James Storm was like it's, he's not with me and uh, Rockstar Spud and Hornswoggle um, so yeah Janice was got driven into into uh, Beast's belly yeah uh, so he's dead and then Crazy Steve was thrown into a, a volcano by Jeff Hardy so he's dead too and uh, apparently it turns out that it's, it was all a ploy to announce the pregnancy of uh, Ruby Sky, Rebecca Hardy, you know, um, <laughs> and if it's actually the case, you know, this like four month, uh, four month um, <laughs> just storyline just to say, yeah, she's expecting a second child, well then you should give the keys of creative to, to Matt Hardy because he's fucking great with that. Uh, anyway, so yeah, you know, the Rams, Lost to the Seahawks, fucking, you know, a fucking disgrace. The three teams that are a fucking disgrace. The Jets, the Rams, and the Browns because they haven't won a match. Uh, that's essentially that. And the worst are the Rams because they, it was just so much, such a big deal that they moved back to Los Angeles. Now they are doing, they are doing shit, sack the coach, not, still not doing shit. Good fucking job, lads. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. What am I going to talk about tomorrow? Maybe the guy who will replace Gomez in the lineup.